Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is shrink chip bags. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is chip bags, a microwave, and an oven. Caution, this activity strictly requires supervision by an adult. It involves the use of a hot oven and handling of hot plastic. Ensure that the room is well ventilated so all fumes are given off by the heat plastic chip bag to spurt as quickly as possible. So I have three different uh, experiments I'm gonna use. You can see I'm using wax paper here uh, with a cookie sheet. Um, so uh, with the oven is the first experiment. So we have preheat our oven to 250 degrees or 121 Celsius. Make sure your chip bag is completely emptied. I'm just using a four ounce chip bag there. Uh, emptied it out uh, so there's no crumbs. Um, I'm using the Doritos and a, a, the Crunchy Cheetos. Uh, put it in the oven, pre-bake. I started off with four bags, but I ended up only going with the bottom two. The other four weren't getting done. You can see after about 15 minutes, they start to go down. You want to check this every two minutes to make sure where the bag is and what's going on. The wax paper should help it from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Um, so you can keep checking on it every two minutes. I just kept sending the timer. And eventually, about 20, 25 minutes, um, you're going to get to the size where it's not going to shrink anymore, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you the end results when we get there. Experiment number two is we are going to microwave the chip bag. So we emptied out the chips and we put it in the microwave. We made sure all the crumbs were out. We're going to set the microwave for five seconds. And um, you do not want to pick up the bag after it's out. Let it cool down for at least a minute or two before you pick up the bag or use um, oven gloves to pick it up as it will be hot. Five seconds on and uh, you can watch it. It's going to spark a little bit while it's in there. I don't know if we're going to be able to. There it goes. A little bit of sparks and your bag that was uh, normal size is now a miniature bag right there. So we will show you at the end the end results. But that's what happened uh, to the chip bag right there. Well, why did they shrink? Well, the sh shiny chip bags are made with a piece of aluminum foil sandwiched between two plastic films. The aluminum prevents the air entering to the packet and keeps the chips fresher and longer. The plastic in the chip packet is made up of long polymer molecules that have been stretched so they're almost straight. When the plastic is heated in the oven, the molecules that make up the plastic are energized, so they start to vibrate faster. The molecules end up wrinkling and making the plastic film thicker and shorter, and thus your chip packet shrinking. So here's the measurements on the microwave bag. Uh, it's coming down to a little over five and a quarter inches in length, and it's only about two and three quarters inches. So it came down about half the size and the length. The width is five inches. Um, in length there and uh and also it comes into about an inch and a quarter so a little bit less under two inches there 4.6 centimeters so the bag really reduced in size in the microwave here's the third experiment i'm using a heat gun these are very very hot so be very careful if you have one um and you want to go back and forth uh really quick um so if you leave it one spot too long it's going to uh, melt the bag completely don't get too close to the bag um, and so here I'm using a wooden spoon and uh, going back and forth um, just to melt the bag a little bit at a time. You can see it's starting to shrink, uh, moving it around with a wooden spoon, flip it over, get the other side. Um, if you do it right, you can really get it to go down uh, to a really small shape, which I'll show you in just a second. But um, you don't, if you go too long in one area, it's going to really just burn up the bag. So here's the end results on all of the bags. You can see it's under two inches there, and then um, uh, about uh, two and a half inches uh, on the, uh, the end one right here. As you can see here, the regular bags um, you know, are, are five inches or so, and the middle one here is the heat gun, and then we have the oven uh, one on the outside. I think the heat guns really were able to take it down a little bit uh, smaller than the oven, though I probably could have left it in the oven a little bit longer. Um, so that's kind of the factor is how long you're going to do it. Um, probably could have shrank it a little bit more, but definitely the heat gun was the one that won overall. And then um, if you really want to judge it, I only did one test on the microwave, but the microwave probably was the winner of all of them, as uh, you can see uh, coming up in just a second, because the microwave really bring it down in size. So here's the regular bag, the heat gun, and the oven size. See, the oven didn't really take it down um, as much as the heat gun did. 
And same here with the uh, Cheetos, um, where we have the regular um, heat gun and the oven as the third one right there. So uh, we can see that there. But the end results is that these, these polymer uh, plastics do shrink a lot. And um, it's pretty amazing. Uh, give it a shot. See if different uh, bags can uh, shrink more than others. Uh, I only use these ones here. You can see the microwave one was the, the, by far the smallest one out of all of them. Uh, it really <laughs> reduced uh, crazy in size. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. And thanks for watching.